Hey everyone, it's Bree, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Ruby Cup. So this is the box the Ruby Cup comes in, and I'd just like to say thank you to the Ruby Cup before I start this video for agreeing to send me a sample. They were really sweet. I talked to them. They're a lovely company. Some menstrual cup companies I've contacted have been really rude and come back to me saying absolutely not, that's lame and stuff. Cup Lee was one of them. Um, but some are really good, and Ruby Cup was a lovely company, so thank you again, Ruby Cup. Uh, the Ruby Cup comes from Kenya. And there are some really nice business ethics, I think, in that I'll explain a little bit later on. But uh, to start with, oh, the lighting's going out. Um, so the Ruby Cup comes in a pouch, like this. It has the instruction leaflets inside it. I'll look at them in a bit more detail in a second. That's the Ruby Cup. And this is what it looks like. So I really like this guy, I have to say. It's made of a very good quality, I think, um, medical grade silicone. Its diameter is 45 millimetres across the top. Sorry, it has a diameter of 45 millimetres. It can hold 20 millilitres, I think, and the Ruby Cup comes in one size. And I was a bit sceptical when I got this cup because I have had a problem with inserting cups before, being with rim, um, rims that are too big, but this cup has got a very good resistance. It's got it's not a soft cup, it's a, it's got a pretty strong resistance, but it's not very hard. Um, so it's not going to hurt you. And I used the sevenfold when I inserted this on a dry run with some lubricant. Had no problems. Inserted, popped open, really easy. And it's because it's a very um, firm cup. It's easy to push up into your um, vagina, so you don't have to worry about um, it collapsing like a soft cup would if you're just kind of not the actual soft cup, like a softer menstrual cup would. Um, it's got a really nice stem with very easy to grip bubbles. I don't know if you can see that. And that's the inside of the cup. That's what it looks like. I love this cup. And, um, yeah, well, the stem's hollow as well. So if you can see that. There you can kind of see it. It's hollow. Um, has four suction release holes at the top. Da -da -da, one, two, three, four. Um, some measuring lines. I don't know if you can see them, actually. Hang on. Very faintly there, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, 5 millilitres, 10 millilitres, 15 millilitres. But it, that's not full to the rim, I think it can hold 20 millilitres at least. So, um, as I said, it feels really nice. I didn't have a problem inserting this, I am a virgin, as you probably um, know if you've seen my other videos. Um, it has grip rings. This is the only thing I think I can find that's really bad about this cup, is that it has very subtle grip rings, it's not very strong. So if you're new to cups, it might be a little bit tricky for you, but I have cups that don't have any grip rings, so to have something there is better than nothing. Um, you don't have to worry about this cup not opening. It will open, and it definitely forms a very strong suction. Um, it did not want to come out of me. I had to grip it and pull it pretty hard, but, you know, that's just, some cups do that. Um, so yeah, I really like this cup. I would recommend it to someone. And now just going to Ruby Cup a little bit more. This is their instruction leaflet. Very nice, very short, very detailed. Uh, some lovely pictures. Uh, now, the thing I really like about the Ruby Cup is that it's from Kenya, and when you buy one Ruby Cup, they donate a Ruby Cup to a girl in Kenya, a school girl in Kenya, to keep her in school because uh, girls in Africa often miss 20% of their school year due to the fact that they don't have adequate menstrual care because they can't afford the disposable pads that are on the market there or they don't have access to them. And um, when they do that, they're more likely to drop out of school, they're more likely to get married sooner, have more children, get lower paid jobs. So it actually is a really good way to um, help bring these countries out of poverty is to give the girls menstrual um, products, so a menstrual cup or pads or whatever, um, in this case cups, and that keeps them in school. means they can get a better education, probably marry later, have less kids and get better paid jobs. Uh, so it's a good way to boost their economies over there. And I think it's a really good thing to do, as you know from my other videos, I love businesses that have like Ethics, I do believe that every business should be involved in some way, outside, in some way with um, some charitable purpose. So that's Ruby Cup. If you have any questions about the cup, Ruby Cup's linked down below. Obviously, you can ask me anything you want to know. Uh, I don't mind personal questions if you haven't guessed, but I'm really not shy about the stuff. Um, also, Ruby Cup break the taboo about this because in the countries in Africa specifically as um, as well, it's a big. Thing and they don't like to talk about it that much and often girls don't know about the period so if you woke up and you had blood in your pants you'd be scared too um so that's the ruby cup and thank you for watching please subscribe and i will talk to you later Bye bye